Hello and welcome back to Tiny Northeastern. And um, as you can see, we're in the design office at the Northeastern. I've just taken over the kitchen for a few hours while I uh, go through these photographs. Um, I have a plan, and there is the plan. Um, the figures that are in red are the figures I'm actually going to use. And um, it's took a while to source these dimensions um, with the clock tower as well. So let's have a quick look at some of these photographs. Some of these you probably haven't seen before. So um, this is a fascinating one because on the top right there you can see a chimney and if I go back to the previous photograph the chimney's not there on the right hand side and this photograph, I like this photograph, I've got a copy of this and uh, just look at the detail even on the posts with the lamps right, and here we have a photograph yeah. In the winter time, around about the 1960s, uh, 1980s, that one, 1960s again, almost a full station. And here's one really late on. And this one shows the news agents to the right there of the main entrance. And here we have an interesting photograph showing all of the station and this without this photograph I wasn't sure what was happening at this end of the station but uh, now I can actually see and work out sizes and dimensions for this little building here mainly right time to go upstairs and do some work I think Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to concentrate on the outside walls of the next building um, because the internal walls are going to be a lot harder, harder to figure out um, because all the angles of the photographs are not flat on and so I'll have a lot of um, calculating to do once this wall and the main station entrance is done. So, I shall concentrate on these, and see you in a bit. Right, there we have the ladies and the waiting room done. So that's one wall complete. Um, so we're going to concentrate on the main station wall now, the interesting one. Because whatever happens on this side, yeah. with the main entrance and the rose window, has got to be replicated on this side. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how the rose windows actually meet up because they've got to be at the same height so uh, that's going to be interesting. So uh, another thing is the platform's nice and straight until it starts hitting this point and it starts bending away. So the building should bend away with the platform so that's going to make it interesting too so let's crack on with the main entrance looking at the drawing um, I haven't made too many changes from when I had drawn it up originally um, all the dimensions have stayed the same um, the only subtle difference is move the drawing away is the little cobblestones here and here. I've just turned them back rather than having the capping stone come all the way down and then go off. So what I'll do now is I'll just bring the capping stone and finish it flush there and then just paint these as if though they were stand, sandstone. Just to try and make things a little, that little bit easier for, for finishing off. 
So it's all marked up and I've just got to um, cut it out. Right, um, I thought I'd just uh, quickly offer up the main entrance and I have a little dilemma. Um, I've just put the outside wall temporarily onto the platform base just to give me an idea of how things are going to look. Obviously this wall here will be marrying up with this wall here. Um, that's the actual size of the walls that's going to be um, mounted onto the platform. And alongside it here we have the main entrance. Now, as you can see, the height line of the wall is going to cut straight through my rose window on the platform side. On the front side, there's no issue. Now, I've got two choices here. I can make the wall exactly the same as I was going to make it for the inner wall, for the platform, and not use the rose window on the inside, but cut it out as though there was one there, and then brick it up. Um, but we'll still be able to use the rose window on the outside. Another option is this building on its own raise it up another 18 mil on the inside and outside but then that will change the look of the building altogether so I think I'm gonna have to stick with the first option make the wall like that for the inside but don't use the rose window because if I use the rose window the roof line will cut straight through it when the tapered roof comes down on that side it will cut right through it but if the ground level was level at this point then there wouldn't be a problem so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have the rose window on the outside and I'm not going to bother putting one on the inside. Which means I've got to spare one of these now. Hmm. I'll have a little think about it first. Moved on a little bit. Um, I'm keeping with what I've done and I'm going to alter the roof on the inner wall to make up any differences um, because if I raise that side up another 20 mil it's not going to look right same with the other wall um, the only other alternative was to raise the platform but by doing that looking from the front aesthetically it's not going to look correct but um, I've come up with a plan and uh, I'll go into more detail into the plan as I go along. Anyway, getting back to the build, as you can see, it's the same as what I've done with the windows in the previous videos. Um, I have cut into the card, leaving a 2mm gap. So we just fold it round and then insert the doors and windows into the front and, um, and I'm going to do exactly the same with the rose window I'm just going to push that in there and then glue it in so same as before just pushing the card round just to make sure that I've got a nice crisp edge I'm just using a pencil for doing this but you can use anything at the moment because you haven't got any glue on it so this is just to to form it around the windows right the windows are now in um, I'm going to start on the doors now I'm going to work from the outside door first and work my way in 
and then we'll fit the rose window last. And the reason why I want to do this one first is because I need to use Yoohoo glue as well as the rocket glue to get a grip on this card. When you've got narrow pieces of card, um, I'm just using my fingers um, just to pull the card round on both sides at the same time because um, it is quite narrow. And especially this one here right at the end because it's very delicate, this one. And then with the rest of them, just push it around. Same as before with the windows, I'm just going to go around the door with a little bit of rocket glue and then I'm going to push it in to the, between the card and the modelling craft card to make sure that it goes into every little piece of joint. Now, for the moment of truth, just going to get a little bit of Yoohoo glue and just put it around a few spots on the card before I put the door in. Hopefully this will just um, seal it in there. Right, here we go. I had already pre tried this into here, so it should go. that dry before I move on to the next one in case it pushes this one out. Right so I've got the glue in already at the back so I just want to try and push this in. Hopefully it'll go in. There we go, it's in. So there is other details that uh, have to go on here. There's a sandstone ledge that will go in there. And obviously all the windowsills and arches. But there we have the main entrance wall ready. Just looking at some of these photographs, um, I'm having a hard job working out where this window goes on the opposite side. Now then, if we scroll back to a photograph I have found on the other side, which is this one, whoops, which is this one, and if I zoom in a little bit there, the window on the opposite side is bang centre to the main entrance coming out of the booking hall onto the platform. And uh, trying to adjust that into measurements didn't quite work out until, until I saw this photograph. Now the entrances either side are offset to each other hence why you have the rose window half and half over the door like we have here as you can see the rose window is more or less centre to this brick pillar here and 
in the other photograph it's bag center so all my workings out I did earlier I've made a right mess of this board as you can see I have drawn the central arch looking at that three times now the red line in the center is the line that's now correct and because of that I've had to move all the windows along because this side of the station was always going to be what I call the grey area but now I'm quite happy with it I can move along now that I've cut the wall away from the card I just thought I'd quickly pop it up onto the platform so we can have a brief look before I start cutting out the doors, windows and archways and it looks to be bang on in line with the one at the front, the rose windows right so I shall now cut out all the apertures, brick it up and uh, put the rose window in and see where we go from there I have temporarily put up the inner walls just to have a quick look see and I'm try and work out how I'm going to fit the steps from the platform down into the booking hall so what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this front wall a little bit forward for about 20 millimeters because as you can see the steps have come quite a far uh, a way out anyway uh, while we're on the subject of buildings and stations if you're interested in railway station photographs like this you can buy them direct at www.railwaystationsphotographies.co.uk or just search railway stations and they'll be at a cheaper rate just thought I'd mention that right so and what I'm going to continue with now is kitting up this inner wall with the card and putting the doors and windows in you have just caught me in the process of gluing some of the card onto the inner wall just to hide up all these horrible pencil marks um, this was always going to be the hardest bit to do and uh, what I did here was once the card was cut out I traced the building onto the brick wall sheeting just to make it just a little bit easier instead of trying to mark and measure all the dimensions out again um, yeah Trying to get the bricks to line up on this joint is a little bit tricky, so once that's there, I'm happy with it, I can press it home. You only get one shot at this. I have cut out for the doors, windows and the rose windows, but I haven't cut out the arches yet um, because of the steps going down 
and also where the walls go to meet up with the outside walls so that's what I'm going to look at now okay I've marked the lines ready and the reason being why I haven't cut this one out yet is I'm going to have to cut another piece of card and glue it onto this piece of card here and then bring it down to the ground level to create the wall thickness like you see in the photographs because it needs to be about a foot wide so luckily for me I kept the cut out so I could trace around it and make an identical piece and then bring it up to this level here anyway that's the plan so it's, it's, it's starting to take shape I do like the look of that now And as you can see, this wall here runs on a little bit. Um, because here, there's a separate building which comes out this side of the station. And you can't really see the building in here. So all this will be just be a plain piece of card going across and joining it to the building that's going to be sitting here. Right, I have made the former to go around the main entrance onto the platform and as you can see I've made it to the height of the baseboard and in between this gap here I can make the steps up going into the station. So the next thing I'm going to do now is glue this to that upright and there, then we can work out what to do about the steps now, um, this part of the build is uh, making it up as I go along I think so what I'm doing is actually gluing it to the outer wall and not the platform even though I've got a little bit of glue that has just dropped onto the baseboard, I can wipe that off. So that's just to give me the height. Hopefully line up with the original wall too. Let's move that away. Right, I shall leave that to dry. Right, now I have that former in place which matches the same um, arch design as the original. You can actually see the space of the booking hall now. It's quite a big booking hall. So what I'll do now is I'll run another card from there to this wall. And then we'll have our room. But uh, what I'll do is I'll not glue this wall or that wall in until I've put the detailing in. Um, so, next thing to focus on is these steps. Here are the steps and uh, I've made them exactly the same way as I made the other steps. But this is slightly different being that they're only 4mm spacings starting at the top at 4mm and finishing at the bottom at 28mm. Now it takes 7 layers of 2mm card to get up to 18mm on the platform, leaving 2mm of the platform to be painted to blend in with the steps. Now with that done I can now concentrate on cutting out the rest of the card that's stuck to that wall and start putting in the windows and strengthening bars and like what I've done here so yeah it's it's coming along um, as you can see I've added the partition wall here and here because here is where the main station will attach stand yeah like so
Now that I'm happy with what I've done with these steps leading up to the platform, I'm going to concentrate on making this arch here with the glazing in. Um, back in the 30s and 40s, the clock was not there. That was put there in the 60s. The clock was on the wall above the news agents, and uh, so I won't be putting a the clock there. But I will be making this framework here with the glazing. So that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, here's the arch uh, that you've seen in the photograph. Um, I've already made a start. I've used some um, polyurethane strip, uh, one and a half mil by one and a half mil square. And uh, I wasn't sure at the very start how I was going to do this, whether I was going to make a jig and uh, build it that way and then draw around it and then fit it that way but uh, I've decided to do it this way instead so I'm just gluing in the cross member now And just making sure it's level. And making sure it's flush as well. Right, so from then on I can just put the lattice work in. So I'll just measure the centre centres and work my way out. Right, so I'm having to make each piece individually fit. Um, and just tease them in position trying to keep the six mil centers so it's nearly there just got two more uprights to fit and then we can put the cross braces going the other way uh, another thing is I'm having to shape them to meet the radius so this one's got a little chamfer on it and this ends a square cut and it just makes a nice neat job of it so that's that uh, window frame done um, once that dries I will give that a coat of white paint and uh, I'll be ready for glazing. But I think in the meantime I shall continue fitting the doors and windows. There's quite a few to fit onto this inner wall. Let's have a look so far shall we? As you can see we have the rose window in on the inside and if I look through here if I get the camera spot on level you can see virtually through both windows when overlapping card like we have here where we've got the outside wall meeting an upright wall I haven't put the card on yet because I want to overlap it and hide this joint I've got a few of these, I've got one here and I've got one here as well as you can see I've overlapped the card here by two millimeters thickness so when that goes against there that will hide that and will almost end up with a perfect joint and same here as well 
where I've got the 2mm overlap. I just thought I'd show you that. We still have two archways to cut out here. One for the news agents and one for the parcels um, in and out. Um, the grey area I have so far is here. Right at the end. Oh, I'm not sure what this is here. Whether it's the station master's office or I just haven't got a clue. Because it's just one of the grey areas uh, I was talking about earlier. So I've just got this arch and this arch to cut out and the rest of the windows to fit. just uh, noticed in a few places I've got a little bit of glue so basically all I do is get a little bit of um, humbrol thinners on a, on a q-tip or cotton bud and just go up and down with it and just take off and it does remove the yoohoo glue and it also removes um, oh, super glue the um, the whiting you get from super glues, it removes that and uh, it leaves the windows nice and clean. Now I've glazed this window as well, so I may as well keep that clean as well. Moves all the dirt as well, and you should end up with nice shiny windows like so. Just a quick tip. So we've come a long way this week um, with the internal wall virtually finished, and uh, all the windows and doors all fitted on this internal wall, uh, along with an additional detail which is the North Eastern Railway map which was done in tiles if I remember rightly and uh, so that's on the wall where it should be um, if we look at the photographs you'll see that there on that wall um, so yeah like I says all the doors and windows have been done on the internal wall and the external wall. Now they're just freestanding at the moment. Um, I haven't done the internal walls yet because I've got to work out the heights for the roofs because it's like a double roof. It goes up and then it goes up again. So that's got to be worked out. Um, so I think we're coming to the end of this video. I just thought I'd look at that photograph one last time. Maybe. Right, there's been one thing that's been bugging me uh, quite recently as well is, as you've noticed, I have changed out the blue bricks for the standard red bricks. Um, it just did not look right, so I've changed that. It's quite easy to come off. It just kind of peeled off really, so glad I've changed that. Right, I think that is all from me this week. Um, we've come a long way, like I said. So next time we shall start looking at finishing off this middle section. Putting the walls in. Um, maybe doing a little bit of detail in the centre because without the walls we need to, to do the details as well as the walls. Um, the steps, I might do a couple of handrails on the steps as well so yeah so that will probably be in the next video to because um, all this is loose at the moment whoops socials have been demolished again <laughs> right so that's all from me guys thanks for watching and uh, see you again next time bye for now bye